welcome to the tutorial for installing Wonderware Development Studio 10.1. We're also going to be installing the Orchestra version. But the first thing we're going to do before we install the Wonderware InTouch application, we're going to install the Microsoft SQL Server Standard Edition 2008. So you'll you want to put your disk in. And then we'll auto start it. You're going to get this because it's not compatible if you're using the 64 on Windows 7, but we have a patch for this and we have this disk and we'll install that in a second. We're going to go ahead and we're going to run the program. Okay, now we're going to install the software. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to options and we're going to select the 86 even though we're running on a 60 we're going to because we, we want the 32-bit version okay after you've selected the x86 for installing the 32-bit uh, architectural version of the SQL server we're going to go to installation and then we'll select new SQL server standalone yes I guess it's going to remind us again that when we're done we need to install the service pack one and we do have that disk it came with it Okay, went through the setup support rules, select OK. Okay, now we're going to want to install the setup support files. So just select install. Okay, now that the setup rules have finished, you just scroll through, you might want to just scroll through and make sure they're all good. Select next, and then we're going to want to perform a new installation. As you can tell, we have WinCC Flexible, that's Siemens, Factory Talk View, and that's Alan Bradley. So now we're going to do a new installation of the SQL Server. So you just want to go ahead and check mark perform new installation and then select next this screen is where you'd enter your product uh, key if it's not already up go ahead and enter it now and then select next now you go ahead and accept the license terms now I'm going to maximize the screen so we can see all these now we're going to select a few items that we're going to need then we're going to select next now we're going to want to select the default instance you see there's two of them there the WinCC that's Siemens product and the factory talk view 64 that is an Allen Bradley Rockwell product we'll select next this is a disk huge summary that's going to use just select next Just select use the same account for SEL server services. You're going to use NT Authority System. Select OK. After you selected Next, we're going to want to go ahead and set this up. At, we're going to set this up as a mixed mode. Give your built-in password. You can enter that now. Uh, I use capital W Wonderware one. And then we're going to add current user. Now that we have it, the current user up. We're going to select next, add current user, 
Just select bad current user. Select next. Okay, now you're going to want to select install the native mode default configuration. And then select next. Just select next. These are items that were all your installation rules. Select next. And we're going to install all this information. So just select install. Okay, now you're going to want to put your patch in. It's a patch disk. Just an update. Accept, select, yes, select all, select next. The start the installation. So check your files to make sure it's all good. I just want to go back and check files because I bumped ahead by an accident. Select next. and update shouldn't take too long for this update to install and then afterwards we're going to have to restart the computer that's it okay the updates complete Go ahead and close it. Okay, for some reason that didn't record, but we're going to go ahead and tell you what happened. What happened after the, it completed, I went ahead and closed the two windows that were up here. I went down the start menu, and then I went to restart the computer. And then it booted back up so that we can now install Wonderware InTouch 10.1 with Service Pack 3. And also the Orchestra IDE. I split that up into a second video. That way, when we have this SQL server separate from the installation of Wonderware in touch. So, I appreciate you watching. Please subscribe. If you have any feedback or any comments, something I did incorrectly, please leave it in the comments. And again, thank you for watching.